Android 5.0, just the preview dropped, and I was like, okay, I'm not going to put this on my phone. But I did. I did. Let's take a look at the features, what's new, what's different, and um, let's do a quick little bonus of this new thing I got. I want to see how what it tastes like. I haven't tasted it before, so just a quick little thing for this video, just for fun. Not bad. Not bad. And if you want to play Advanced Warfare with me, my gamer tag and my PlayStation name are in my Twitter bio links in the description. Let's do this video. All right, so let's do this. Let's take a look at this. This is our Google Nexus 5. Uh, we still have our little dimple, the four NFC buttons. I did a video on this thing uh, a few months back. So let's let's dive into this. Let's look and see what's new. Uh, as you can see, I have my AT&T SIM card in this. And this is one of the beautiful reasons why the Nexus 5 is still a really good device. I had Sprint since I was 18 years old. That was almost 11 years ago. Almost 11 years ago. And I finally dropped them October 6th. Done. After more than three years of crappy service, I was on but anyways i did a video saying sprint works on the unlocked google play edition nexus 5 i did a video on that so i had sprint on it and for the longest time i had t-mobile on this thing and then i put my t-mobile service on here right now my t-mobile service is on my galaxy note 4 my at&t sim card is in my nexus 6 so look at that i've had sprint t-mobile and at&t on this thing right here. It is freaking awesome. And my AT&T SIM card just came out of my LG G3 and it will probably stay in the Nexus 5 until the Nexus 6 comes out. We're gonna keep T-Mobile on the Note 4 and we're gonna keep AT&T on the Nexus 6 and we're gonna carry both of those devices. So if you wanna see videos on the Nexus 6, Nexus 9, and Nexus Player, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already. You will not regret it. So. Let's take a quick little look at this. This is the Google Play Edition HTC One M8. I did an unboxing of this. I did a review of this. I rooted it. I've done everything there is to do to it. And when it was completely dead, so we're waiting on it to charge up a little bit. But when Google, when this same Android 5.0 comes out by the Google Play Edition HTC One, if you want to see a video on it, let me know in the comments. Let me know on Twitter. Let me know when it comes available. I can do it. But let's get into this. This is the Nexus 5. Right away, you're going to notice the lock screen is different. Now, I did do an Android L preview video. I didn't really do a review of the Android L, which is Lollipop, but I did kind of just show it off real quick. You've got quick little access to things like your phone. You can drag that out to get to your phone. You can drag this out to get to your camera, which is the stock Google camera app. Uh, right away, you'll notice like the contacts icon is different, and just the, the whole, like the little icons there at the top for Wi-Fi and stuff, those kind of blend together. They're not separate little bars and stuff. So it looks a little bit different. And the notifications, this is a little bit different too from the Android preview. So when you drag this down, you get a quick little slider for your brightness and stuff. So we'll just keep it about right there for now. And you get this nice little toggle for a flashlight. No custom ROM, no rooting, exposed, anything like that. It comes right. That is beautiful. You don't need an app, the third-party app that's going to sit there and ask for more permissions than it needs just to launch the LED from your flashlight. So that's pretty freaking awesome. You got quick little toggles to everything on here and airplane mode, your AT&T, which gives you a nice little thing right there. It tells you how much data you've used too. So more settings here. It takes you to your settings. You can put your limiter on there and stuff. Also, the recent apps. So we'll launch the camera app here. Next, um, crop sensor. Okay, got it. I like to have wide pictures. So we'll go home. We'll launch the thing here. I downloaded the latest Super SU, which did not work. Oh, 214 does not work. If I launch the Super SU app, it says no binaries installed, even though I have custom recovery, and I installed 214 in recovery. So it's it's just an, a little issue that will get fixed. Chainfire will work it out. No big deal. But uh, So here's the recent apps. Little bit different than, than uh, stock Android and anything else. It looks kind of similar to how the Note 4 does multitasking. If you want to see videos on the Note 4, I have some uploaded already. Just check them out. So, 
You can't long press on it anymore to get to the app info, which is kind of a bummer because I've used that a lot to force close an app. So unless there's another way to do it, let me know. Also, out of the box, it comes with the latest Play Store, version 5032. And let's just go ahead and you, you can see little X marks here to close them out or you can just swipe them all away. So that's really cool. Another thing I've noticed is like we'll go to Twitter here and we'll take a, um, this is the tweet I did on Twitter. There's that. So let's go back. We'll take a quick little screenshot of something and I'll go to a tweet about that. The keyboard on this thing is different. Like it just, it, I'm not really liking it. I feel like it's not working as well as SwiftKey does. So uh, after this video, I probably will put swift key back on here and swift key has a brand new awesome halloween theme that's not just orange but like like zo like zombies or something like that like graveyard or something anyways it's really cool so the app drawer as you can see is different like these are all the apps i have installed at the moment i just put this on here i wasn't gonna do this video but then like at least two people on twitter asked me and i was like this does look pretty cool so let's do it Let's take a quick little look at the clock here, and then you've got your alarms that you can set. You can add more. You can turn it on. Uh, you can go to your stopwatch here, and and then you can go to your or your timer. Sorry, and then you can go to your stopwatch here and start. It's just you know th it looks a little bit different. Everything is like tweaked. I I I don't know if I'm a fan of the way the icons all blend together and you know don't show like. <laughs> I, I mean, you could tell it's less, but I kind of liked the whole, well, let me turn my HTC One on here and show you what that looks like on Android 4.4.4. And while that's booting up, let's take a quick little look at the settings here. Um, oh yeah, right there. I, I got to it earlier, just having difficulty now, now that I'm all excited. So you can see we have version 5.0 right there, Android 5.0, and then let's let's go ahead and uh, tap on that and see what happens. La, 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 lollipop. <laughs> I don't know if there's any special. Oh, okay. It keeps changing colors. Nice. I don't know if it does anything because haven't been to this screen before. Now, you probably, hold... yeah, there you go. You hold it and, oh, it's like a mini game. Dude, it's like, it's like Flappy Bird, sort of. In, in a way, I mean, you're you're bouncing up and down, and you're trying not to, uh, <laughs> that's so freaking cool, that's awesome, a little built-in game, that's, that's awesome, you can see the kernel version, the build number, the baseband, this is, this is dope, this is sweet, oh, let's, let's see that lollipop one more time, let's get a close-up of that, nice little thumbnail there for the Nexus 5, all right, so, I guess that about wraps it up. I just wanted to let you know, hey, Android 5.0 Lollipop is available for the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 7 right now. You can download them. I will link to my video in the description on how to flash this to your Nexus 5 or your Nexus 7. In the video, we flashed it to both our Nexus 5 and our Nexus 7, so you don't have to worry about finding a different video for different ones. It's all the same process. You just download the latest build instead of the older one that I downloaded in the video. This just started up, so I can go ahead and show you there. You got like little individual things that like give you levels. Like you can see in a second here, one, two, three. So you see three out of four there filled up. And if we had a SIM card in this, we took the SIM card out of here and put it in the, in the Note 4, but um, it would also do that for the data icons there. So that's about it. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Just a quick little fun video. Well, not that quick, but definitely not that long please take a second out of your day to click the like button below if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to see more videos on the nexus 5 the nexus 6 nexus 9 nexus player android lollipop on the htc1 m8 google play edition this is the one that i got from the google play store so it's it'll work on any gsm carrier this one will work on any gsm and cdma carrier and so will the nexus 6 oh just just throwing this out there real quick Right now, if you are debating between the Nexus 6 and the Note 4, the Nexus 6 is going to have 3 gigs of RAM, a 6-inch Quad HD display, the latest 2.7 gigahertz Snapdragon 805. It is going to work 
on nearly every carrier in the world. Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, T-Mobile, US Cellular, uh, International. It'll, it's like more than Octoband. It is, it is, it's CDMA, it's GSM, it's like, it's this phone, but even more and even better. So if you get the Nexus 6 for $649, which is cheaper than buying a, a Note 4 or an iPhone off contract, you're going to be able to take that with any carrier you go with. So if you get tired of Sprint's bull crap and you want to switch it from Sprint to T-Mobile or Sprint to Verizon or Sprint to T-Mobile, you can do that. So I definitely recommend pre-ordering that Nexus 6 the moment it's available because I know I will. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.